It took them 41 years, but they did it. The Georgia Bulldogs have finally gotten themselves back on top of the college football world. They have beaten the Alabama Crimson Tide in the 2022 CFP National Championship in what was really a thriller. We're talking a defensive thriller for the first half and an offensive, you know, game in the second half until, you know, late, until very, very late in this game. And we'll talk about all that. We'll talk about all this stuff that happened today or at it tonight in a game that obviously, you know, took four hours because it's college football. Like, all college football games take four hours. I don't know why y'all still complain about that. <laughs> but that's a bit it. Kirby Smart. They did it. They got it. They got the championship. They got it. They got what they needed, you know? I mean, George Pickens came back in this game, made a huge catch in the first half. Again, this was a 9-6 game at halftime, a game of field goals, a game in which there was a fumble by Bryce Young that was not actually a fumble, a game in which there was a fumble by Stetson Bennett that was actually ruled a fumble. You know, by the ACC refs, you know. Um, and in the end, you know, Stetson Bennett shut that off through two touchdowns. One, one to Adonai Mitchell and one to Brock Bowers. I mean, the other one to Brock Bowers to stretch the Georgia lead from one all the way up to eight. You know, really made things intriguing. I mean, my goodness, my goodness. I... I I, I didn't think, you know, I didn't think things were going to be the way they were. You know, Alabama lost Jameis Williams early in this game. You know, no John Mechie, no Jameis Williams. Now, you know, Bryce Young had to use the backups, you know, the backup wide receivers, the young wide receivers, you know, that, you know, they did okay. They did okay. You know, mostly went to their tight end, um, Latu, you know, late in this game. Cameron Latu who got the touchdown. He was a huge factor in this game. It was also Slade Bolton, but, I mean, he didn't really do too much. I mean, Bryce Young threw it 57 times. Two of them got picked off. Keely Ringo took one of those picks back to seal the deal. And, I mean, this game, again, I mean, this game was just absolutely bonkers from start to finish. We didn't get a touchdown to the third quarter. We're talking Georgia blocked the kick. In the third quarter, we're talking like late in the third quarter, and they were able to capitalize. They were able to finally capitalize because they had gotten some good field position on Bama before in the first and second quarters. But they weren't able to convert with you know, and they were but they were finally able to get it done with Zamir White and James Cook. I mean, they they got it done on the ground, you know, you know for that first touchdown, and then Stetson Bennett took over again and. After shaking off that fumble, he took over, and the Georgia defense was all over Bryce Young the entire night. All over Bryce Young. I mean, Dan Lanning, you know, has cooked up a masterpiece for the Georgia Bulldogs, and now guess what? We got the most intriguing, one of the most intriguing week one storylines for the 2022 season already, you know, prepping itself, warming up in the oven, along with a bunch of other college football storylines that are going to be just absolutely huge as we turn into next season. Yeah, there's been some transfers. Yeah, there's been some things that have happened, you know, as well. I just wanted to get those out the way, too. You know, yeah, there's been a whole lot of things that happened, you know, from the last time we talked, you know, the New Year's Six Bowls and stuff like that, well, you know, our, our preview and stuff like that, to now. I mean, things have totally gone off the rails but congratulations to the Bulldogs you guys earned it I mean yeah there were injuries and stuff like that you know but you guys earned it I mean both sides had injuries you know Alabama's were a little bit more egregious there was some ref ball in this game we get that yeah, it's all it's, it's always ref ball it, it's, it never discriminates when it comes to college football but man I can't believe it I, I'm a little sad you know, now, uh, I'm actually extremely sad. <laughs> no more college football until August the 27th. <sighs> what is this channel going to do? I'll tell you what this channel is going to do. You know, NFL, got some lacrosse, got some college basketball, got some NBA, you know, some WWE, you know, those videos. You know, those will be lined up for quite a while. And, of course, indoor football as well, quite a while. So we'll be having 
a good time here for quite a while on the channel. If you're new, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, click the notification bell and all that good stuff. And, you know, what were your thoughts on the national championships? I mean, my thoughts, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm just sitting here still stunned that Georgia actually did it. I, I you know, I picked Georgia to win this game, but I didn't think it was going to be 33-18. to 18. I didn't think it was going to be that. I thought it was going to be like a two-point game, you know, just like the spread said. But here we go, and I think it went, I think the under hit too. So if you pick the under, you know, you probably gained some money tonight. Good on you. Um, but man, what a game this was for Georgia. They needed this, and now they get to defend their title. You know, they get to start their title defense against their defensive coordinator against Oregon <laughs> in September of next, of the, you know, this calendar year, but it'll be the next season now. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. And for Alabama, you know, they go into the offseason, Nick Saban and company obviously got to be feeling a little bit, you know, a little bit down about their result, you know. And it, it, I mean, you know, it is what it is, man. An L is an L. And Alabama denied their seventh title in, you know, what, 13, the last 13 seasons. Yeah. Dynasty's not over yet for Alabama. But Georgia built the team that could beat them. And they did it. They did exactly what they needed to do. So, and I believe Georgia's also the first three seed to win the title. So, three seed can't win the title. <laughs> yeah. We've seen a four seed do it before. We've seen the one and the two do it, obviously. But we haven't seen a three yet. And Georgia did exactly that. Yeah, these were the two best teams in the country. I don't understand, you know, why there was any, you know, controversy about that, you know. And I'll touch on this here, you know, real quick because the CFP committee, you know, the, the commissioners and stuff like that, they met all, they all met up today. And this is actually, a, this is for me personally, this is a win. This is a huge W. They didn't come to any consensus on expanding the playoff. None at all. Like, Pac-12 is just cool with everything too. You know, the Big Ten and the ACC are like, we, we, we want this. The group of five is like, we want this. The SEC doesn't really seem to care either. But, they, but I mean, they probably prefer four teams anyway. If they could get two teams, you know, like Georgia and Alabama in the national championship every year, the Big 12, you know, probably side, you know, with maybe the Pac-12 or the, I don't know where the Big 12 lies on this, but Bob Bowsby, you know, he, he was pretty angry. And the group of five, you know, they're angry all the time because, you know, you know why, you know. They haven't been able to get into the playoff. You know, no group of five team aside from Cincinnati has been able to get to the playoff. That was in that, and it took eight years. It took eight years for it to happen. It took a large combination of things. You know, I, 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 I'll say I'll say one more thing about CFP expansion before we wrap this up here. Uh, we don't need it. We don't need it. I don't understand why we continue to. You know, try and go for this 12-team model. Well, we need to go slowly with this. If we expand before 2026, we need to go slow with it. Go with 8 first, and then you go with 12. You can't just jump from 4 to 12 just like that. You need to take baby steps. I don't know what, I don't know what's so hard about this. This, You know, and if you're not going to expand yet, you know, just wait till the contract runs out. That's exactly what the, that's exactly what, you know, things are going to be looking like. You know, they, fortunately, all the commissioners and stuff, basically bailed on like five hundred million dollars and said nah we gonna stick with the four team and it works i mean it works i mean we got the best two teams in the national championship with the four best teams played in the semifinals cincinnati was one of them yes i still believe cincinnati was one of the four best teams you can't put notre dame in you can't put ohio state in you know cincinnati proved on the field they were one of the four best teams and they and they and again they played out that was tough michigan didn't play georgia as tough but you know or out of Michigan got steamrolled, but I mean, since that they had a effort, it wasn't the greatest effort. They still got blown out, you know, just like Michigan. But I mean, you know, whatever, man, whatever. We got the four best teams in every year. The beast, even the even the simulated BCS has gotten it right every year. So I mean, I don't I don't know what we're thinking about, you know, expanding so quickly. We need to we need to stop doing that. We need to stop thinking about expansion so quickly because we, we who else deserves it? Don't seek. Don't, don't say teams like Michigan State or Pitt or Ohio State or Utah, you know, these teams don't deserve it. They don't. 
they don't. We're going to eventually get it. I know we're eventually going to get it, but do I think there are 12 teams deserving? Just like, do I think there are 24 FCS teams deserving? No. The answer to both those questions are no. <laughs> so, whatever, man. We're, I, I, I'm done talking about CFP expansion, hopefully for the time being. And, you know, the off season is here. What, 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 what do we do now, you know? Got to wait till August 27th, man. Man. What a season. Oh, one of the wildest and craziest college football seasons that I think we've witnessed here in a long time has finally come to an end. So, once again, I'll see you all, you know, when it comes to college football again in August. Yeah, that's right. We'll be coming back in, like, the middle of August with college football. So, y'all stay right here. You know, come back. We'll talk college football once again in the middle of August, and for the rest of the week, we'll still be we'll still be pumping out videos here. We'll st we 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 got we got plenty of content to be coming, you know, coming on the board for the channel. So don't y'all go anywhere. Y'all stay right here, cause we got a lot of stuff to talk about throughout the week, and throughout the rest of January as well. So again, take care. Good night. I'll see you again soon. Congratulations, Georgia.